Okay guys, basically what I'm going to run through today is I'm going to show you some of the spices, um, seasoning, sauces, etc. which I use in my off season in order to add some flavour, colour, um, make my meals more appealing and just kind of add more variety into my diet. It's very easily done. I know a lot of you guys out there kind of find it hard to stick to a diet if it's boring and lacks variety etc. So these are just some ways which I feel might be beneficial in order for you to kind of maybe adhere to a plan more um, by making your meals more appealing, add more variety and, and spice them up a little bit. So um, some of these things may be things you might not be aware of or might not use uh, currently. So hopefully you kind of gather a few tips and I'm going to jump straight in and run through some of the stuff I use at the moment. Okay, let's get into this. First of all, we have French's mustard. I like to use this on any turkey meals and chicken meals. I love this stuff. Next of all, we have the no added sugar and salt ketchup. Again, I will use this mainly on my chicken and turkey meals. Rice, it goes great with anything really. On my eggs in the morning as well is what I'll use this with. So on my eggs, I like to use black pepper. Um, pepper and ketchup on my eggs every morning along with Himalayan salt. I have this on every meal to be honest. All my meals I will put um, Himalayan salt on for sodium. Turmeric, I will put that on some of my rice meals depending if I want more flavour or not. Ground cinnamon, I will use this on anything and everything. Um, oats, cream of rice, yogurt, um, I love this stuff. This is unbelievable. Next of all is flavour drops. So we have English toffee ones from Now Foods and then we have um, chocolate drops from Applied Nutrition. I put these in oats sometimes, cream of rice, but mainly over my yogurt. Um, these are very good to flavour up your Greek yoghurt. Next up is this seasoning called Seasonal. Um, I get this one in Musgraves, it's the big huge tub, but I get, this, I get a smaller tub in Aldi. Um, it's pretty cheap. I, flav I season all my chicken with this before I cook it. Um, I also um, season some of my meat, like the turkey sometimes, and the mince, the beef, sometimes I flavour with this as well. Unbelievable, I, I even put it on rice sometimes. So this definitely is my favourite seasoning. Fajita seasoning. Surprisingly this shouldn't be good but it's good on steak. So anytime I'm having steak I will use this on it. Along with black pepper as well. I, it shouldn't be good on steak but for some reason it is. I don't know. It's, a, it's surprisingly good. Here we have smoky barbecue skinny sauce. So zero calorie and um, barbecue sauce which is a dream. It's the closest one I found. That actually tastes like barbecue sauce. Usually they, they're really watery and they don't even taste like it. But no, this one's really good. Um, again, I switch it up. I put that over some of my rice meals with chicken and turkey, etc. And I swap between that, the red sauce, the ketchup and the um, mustard as well. So I just kind of whatever I'm feeling, I have a bit of variety there to change it up. Um, and then these two sauces, I actually haven't tried this one yet. Uncle Ben's Sweet and Sour, no added sugar. Um, shout out to Mike Geary for recommending this to me. Macros in this are pretty good. Per 100 grams, just 28 calories. That's excellent. You know what I mean? To me, I consider that very low calorie. In the off season, you know, it's very easy to add that to your meals to flavour up. Especially the deeper in it gets when you're not as hungry and you just need kind of the flavour of the meals to just get them down. The same with this one. This one now, um, basil and oregano passata. I get this in Aldi. I love this on my mince meals. It basically makes it taste like bolognese. The same with this one as well. The macros, it's per 100 grams, it's 28 calories. So again, it's, it's I class that as very low calorie. You don't even need 100 grams. Um, I don't even use 100 grams in a meal. So um, this is really good for your mince meals. It makes it taste like bolognese. And again, if you're in your off season and want to flavor up your meals, um, walk away. This is kind of all the condiments I use, the seasoning. The sauces and um, flavor drops etc I, I don't use these on prep this is only kind of my off season it's nice to have the variety of all the different seasonings people are always looking people are always complaining of um, boring foods 
and there's so many different ways to actually flavor up your fields with with these with these sauce and condiments there's no reason why your field should be boring different sauces um, seasonings all very low calorie there's no way why you shouldn't be able to add these into your diet without um, taking away from your goals obviously if you go over the top and fucking throw but other this stuff obvious stuff them calories will add up especially if you're in a calorie deficit and looking to lose weight and diet down and these calories add up very quickly so once you're mindful of the amounts you're using and especially if you're in off season when you can kind of give or take some of them calories and um, they're they're fantastic yeah my recommendation would be give them a try if you find your meals boring and hard to get in um but just be mindful of the amount you use because although there's some of them are zero calorie and low calorie um the low calorie ones still do contain calories and if you use them if you don't use them in moderation them calories will rack up pretty quick um, and you will be wondering why you're not losing weight and um, when in reality it is a reason so just be mindful of that but yeah hopefully these these sauces and seasonings kind of give you a bit of an idea in how to flavor up your fields if you've been finding the barn and just looking up for it looking for a change in order to kind of make your meals more appealing